hi everyone welcome back to my channel today's uh, video is going to be the official update for my first project this project started end of december and was going on until end of february um, so it was a couple of days ago however i didn't have a chance to film the video so i'm gonna do it now so these are all my empties um for february and i'm gonna go through the empties along with um items that were in the project that i didn't end up getting to use up and some things that i'm just going to be taking out of the project and actually discarding because i just don't really want them and i don't want to be using them so i did pretty well um ugh, to go through this bucket <clears throat> um so there were some things that i added in um without so it's so there's something that i added in um, after I did the last update so I'm gonna go through those two um, but for stuff that was in the project um, the first things I had was a living proof full conditioner and shampoo these were full and I've used them up fully um, I got these sent to me um, from I think a contest that I won um, I would not repurchase this I would not recommend it it smelled kind of like black pepper so just not really into that um the next item that i used up that i had in my project was the body shop oils of life um the markings kind of gone oh there's a little bit left so the marking was up to here um this was nice i got it for free for my birthday from the body shop um i'm not sure if i would purchase it i think if i got it for free again i would use it but i wouldn't spend my money on it um the next item was the moroccan oral smoothing lotion so um in the last video i said there was a little bit left like a very very tiny bit maybe this much but it was starting to smell a little fishy to me um keep in mind i have had this for oh god maybe six or seven years so it could have actually gone bad um so after using it once more and then just smelling like my hair smells like fish the whole time i just wanted to be done with it so i didn't end up fully using it but um it was up to hair originally and so like i said it's down to hair um so this one i am just going to discard next i used up the nuver uh herbal skincare balancing lotion i do like this i don't know if i'm going to repurchase it right now um just because i have other ones other toners that i want to get through um, I finished off the Nuver Intensive Brightening Serum. I do really like this. I have purchased this many times before. However, it's 250 bucks, and now with, being, with me being married, having a kid now, I can't really take on those kind of expenses. Um, I just can't really justify it. So this is nice, um, and I would recommend that. Um, I finished off the Body Shop Winter Jasmine um, Body Butter. This was nice. It's, I don't know, I wouldn't repurchase the scent again. Um, but I have started realizing the Body Shop Body Butters take a while to go through. Um, so I'm surprised I actually used that up within a month. I finished the Cocoa Lotion Coconut Oil Hydrating Body Lotion from Pink. Um, there wasn't, where is the line? I'm not too sure where the line was, but there wasn't a ton left, maybe like this much. Um, I did like the scent. I really liked this, but um, I have more than enough Bath and Body products right now to kind of um, kind of hold me over for a year, if not more. So this was nice, but I won't be repurchasing it. Um, I finished off the Bondi Sands, the Australian Tan Everyday Gradual Tanning Milk. I really like this for the winter time when I'm feeling a little bit pasty. Um, so there's like a tiny, tiny bit left, but like I can't really get that. I do really like this. It was up to here. Um, I probably would be repurchasing this. The next item was, I had a bunch of sample stuff. So the sample packs that I went through is quite a bit so <clears throat> um i used the redken all soft moisture restore leave-in treatment i did really like this i thought about repurchasing it or well purchasing a big size bottle um but i went for something else instead 
I used the Kiehl's Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil. Um, I really liked this and it is on my to purchase list, but I won't be able to purchase it until next year. I used the Kiehl's <coughs> Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate, 12.5% Vitamin C, plus highly hyaluronic acid. I have a couple of those. Um, and I really, really enjoyed that. I have three of them. I really enjoyed that. It is on my to purchase list. However, these Kiehl's products, they're not cheap. Um, I think this one itself is like maybe 150 bucks for a really big bottle, but still it's, it's expensive. Um, I use the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing and Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin E Serum. I did really like this as well. Um, it is on my to purchase list. I use the Kiehl's Calend Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. Didn't really care for it, but it was just a toner. Um, the Belief Aqua Balm Brightening Vitamin C. Um, there's two of those that I used. I didn't really care for it, so I wouldn't be purchasing that. And then two of the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Advanced Repair creams i do really like this i've used a couple of samples um for my last update and um yeah it's really nice but it's just again i have a ton of moisturizers that i need to go through so it's not something that would be fine anytime soon um the next sample stuff that i bought that i had to use up was let me see um the lemire the treatment lotion this was nice but nothing that i would be actually purchasing uh, the Clinique Smart Clinical Repair Wrinkle Correcting Serum. Again, it was nice, but I don't think I'd be purchasing. The Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask. I have the Moisture Surge, um, I think it's like the 100 hour cream, and that's really nice, so I find these very comparable. Um, the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. I honestly didn't see anything crazy with it, so it's not something I would purchase. Um, the L'Oreal Midnight Serum. This I did really like. It's a very, very tiny bottle. Um, but I was quite I was quite impressed with this and surprised with how soft and smooth my skin felt the next day. <clears throat> so I would I would probably purchase this one. Um, the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This I really, really enjoyed. Um, I do have it on my to purchase list because I really enjoyed that one. And then the Loctane Immortal, Immortal Reset. Um, this one I didn't really care for, but I'm glad I finished it up. Okay. <clears throat> um, then there was um, a couple of things that I did finish that I added in after. So there was the Ordinary Multipeptide Serum for Hair Density. I do really enjoy this. Um, this is probably like my third bottle I bought. I started buying it um, when I was two months postpartum. And when I gave birth end of January last year, my hair was up to hair. And as you can see, my hair has grown quite a bit. Um, and I didn't really lose a lot of hair. I did start growing hair, like hair. I don't know if that's because that's postpartum hair or... Um, because of that i don't know but i highly recommend it and i do have another one that i'm using right now um and then i added in these two mascaras um it's essence what the fake and essence lash princess they were okay um i don't know they kind of dried up pretty quickly and i'm kind of finding right now cheaper is not always better and i've been trying to take the cheap route with some of my repurchases that I needed to do and it ended up becoming a big flop. So these dried out pretty quickly. I think within like a month they started getting really crusty. So I would not be repurchasing those. <clears throat> I wanted to finish off this Hello Lash Lash Therapy. Um, I've had this, oh God, I think for like, I think since April of last year. I use it twice a day every day it's amazing my lashes are super super long um and i would repurchase this but i have two lash serums from um the ordinary that i have to use up right now and if those work really great then i don't think i would purchase this because this is from the states and 
it is a lot more expensive plus i had to play um duty on it so i'm not too big of a fan of that the next item was this oh there's no name on it but it's a new Vera foaming facial cleanser um i do really like this i have another one that i'm gonna open up soon and use so i just wanted to finish it because it's been oh god so long since i've used it it is bigger it's a full size one i just cut it so i can get everything out um and then i wanted to finish up this bamboo fiber full hairspray oh god i've had this i think for like five years um and it's not bad i just again i picked the cheapest one um but it was okay okay then i added in this love and plums body butter from the body shop this was full um and i finished it completely it's not bad but i'm realizing i don't like plum scents i don't like berry scents anymore i have to kind of be in a mood for it and that mood hits me maybe once a year so i'm really really over berry scents right now um, but that one's fully done okay now with items that were in the project that i did not finish and some that i'm just taking out completely <coughs> i have quite a bit still because i forgot about a lot of them um but let me see like i did i've done an amazing progress with my project so even though it does seem like there's a ton of stuff in here the amount of stuff that i have added used up added like added more products used up it definitely makes up for all of this and some of the stuff i'm just going to roll over to the next um project so i added in the scalp relief soothing serum um that was sent to me to try out and i'm not gonna i'm taking this out of the project and i'm honestly just gonna toss it because i'm not interested in using it so there's no point on me um trying to use up something that i'm just not liking and for right now the reason why i'm taking out some of these products specifically for hair is my hair took such a beating <laughs> these past few months my hair was super dry um and just really really shitty <laughs> really shitty because i was trying to use up all my samples and hair care products and stuff that i did not like and like i said my hair took a beating um i'm starting to try and fix it uh, it does look a lot better right now um but that's because i'm actually using my shampoo that i like and my hair products that i like and i'm just kind of done with this half-ass stuff that i did try and make a big dent in and some of the stuff just isn't going to work so with that being said one of them is um the mark anthony hydro lock so this was up to hair and then i added in um some argan oil thing which brought it back up to hair and it this one is empty this is all that i have left of it because i put it in a little dropper because the stupid nozzle stopped working so this is all that i have left of it which is really really great however i'm over this hair oil it's not doing anything for my hair so as much as there isn't a ton left in here i'm over it i'm not going to use it anymore and i'm just going to toss it um another thing that i'm just <clears throat> tossing is this cold infusions from tetley this flavor raspberry cranberry i have tried to finish it i've tried so hard but it is so disgusting and i just can't do it there is i think there's four left in here and i just i'm over it i'm tossing it um the next item that i am just going to be tossing is this um dr shoal severo cracked heel balm i i've been using it and using it and using it and i was religiously using it and then it just it wasn't doing anything I, I swear it was making my heels more more chapped and dry and crappy so um it was up to oh it's of course it's not marked anyways i think there's like this much left but i'm over it i'm just tossing it i'm not going to put my feet through that so the next so those are all the items that i'm tossing and i'm just done with um the next item this pumpkin latte um, fragrance was up to here and my goal was to just use half of it. I have used, I think it's up to here. I'm not using it as a body spray anymore. Um, I use it just kind of as a bathroom spray instead. And 
when I'm in the bathroom, just to kind of make use of it, if I'm like getting ready or something, I'll just spray it around. Um, so then at least the bathroom smells nice. Sometimes I'll spray it in my room. Um, but I'm almost done it. So this I'm going to just put over into my next uh, project. Okay, so the next couple of items um, that I'm going to be getting rolled over is these are the items that are getting rolled over. And the majority of them are um, vitamins. And so, oh, yeah, vitamins and just random stuff. And it's because I, I honestly completely forgot to use them. I've been carrying everything in this bag and I just take this bag to and from the bathroom and I only use the products in there. Um, all of these got put in my drawer and I never saw the day of light again. So I'm going to be taking a more of a conscious effort to actually be using them and whatnot because I am on like a health journey. So this is like right up its alley. Um, so the stuff that isn't vitamin related um that i made progress with but my my goal wasn't to finish it it was just to make progress within it um one of them is this awakening eye cream by forever um i've been using this every night and it was pretty full to begin with i think there's maybe this much left so i'm just gonna put this in my next project and again continue to try and use it um and just kind of be done with it soon um so that's one thing that's getting rolled over along with this spray the next one is this origins ginseng refreshing eye cream my goal was to use up half of it and there is not a ton left but i'm using this every morning so i'm making my progress with it um and then this will just get put in the next project the next one was this Mario Badescu skincare. I probably would have been done more of it. So the line was up here. I'm right about here. The stupid nozzle broke and I actually didn't break it. Like, I don't know if you can really see, but that inner circle hole came out somehow and I can't spray the damn thing. So I've been using it on cotton pads, but this is going to get rolled over. Um, the next item that is getting rolled over is these washer whiffs. The white tea and cactus. Actually, no. Mm, no, I don't want to roll this over. I'm just going to toss this one. I'm over it. Um, the next thing that's getting rolled over is this Nuvera Herbal Skin Care. This had, I think, about this much in there. I have this much left. I'm slowly making my way through it. Um... But this was also added a lot later into the project, so it's just going to get rolled over into the next one. The next item is this Nuvera Herbal Skin Care Deep Cleansing Cream. It's kind of like a makeup remover. I don't wear makeup all the time, maybe once a week, twice a week at most. So, um, yeah, this will just get put over into the next one, and then I don't ever plan on repurchasing this one. Um, the next item that was put in last update was this uh vichy norbiderm three in one cleanser scrub and mask um there's still probably about this much left in there so this is going to get rolled over to the next one and it's not so this one um and the eye creams are not meant to be finished it's just again making more progress with them and trying to only use these ones um so <clears throat> Actually, no, I don't want to put that in there. <coughs> so the vitamins that I didn't make any attempt to use and I forgot about. Um, but I want these to, again, have a good dent in them. Um, I'm going to be taking... I'm going to be writing down how many are in there and how many I've used up. Um, because this next project is actually going to be just a month project. So just the full month of March. Um, just because I want to be using things um up and just kind of be on a more monthly base project instead of longer than that so i'm going to be putting the optifera iron pills the magnesium pills the probiotics evening primrose the maternavite uh, multivitamins um and then these products that i didn't fully finish and then 
um oh actually this was in my project it look i know it looks super crusty but this coffee bean chi ionic conditioner um i'm taking this out of the project because i don't want to really rush to use this i have no need it's pretty bright it's pretty new um so i'm not in a rush to actually get this out of my collection so this is getting pulled out um but not thrown out okay so the new things that i'm having in my project um i know this looks super crusty as well but it was just in my shower it's this lush um soap i have no idea um which soap it is but it is like a berry scent and because i'm over berries i want to just use this up and be done with it in the march month of march um the next thing is this Amandi shower oral from Loctane. It's a deluxe sample. Um, I have about this much left, so I know I can use that up within the month. Um, then I have this, uh, the Body Shop. What is this? Shea butter. Um, there's not a ton left, but there's still a pretty hefty amount for it being a body butter. So this one I want to at least use up. Um, no, I want to use it all up. I want to get rid of this. So I'm going to finish this one up completely. Now, this scent, the Blackberry and Basil, um, was all brand new when I bought it late last year. So this is what I started in... I think it was after my last update, so end of January. This was all brand new when I started it. This is how much I have left of the shower gel. <clears throat> So I want to completely use this up in the month of March. The body cream, I feel like there's maybe this much left. Um, I want to get rid of that. And this Blackberry and Basil Fine Fragrance Mist, I have used quite a bit already for her being brand new. However, I do not like this scent. As I said, I'm over berry scents. Something just ain't clicking with me. So, um... I'm probably just going to use this as a bathroom scent and that's what I find I do with a lot of my um, scents that I don't like anymore. I have them just as bathroom scents or like room sprays. So that's what I'm going to use it as for right now. However, I feel like this might be a product that um, I put in like a giveaway for like giveaway for free. I usually put it on Kijiji or Facebook. Um, this might be one of those products that... I just give away to someone because I don't want it anymore. Um, and then I have this uh, Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray, little mini one. Um, I want to use that up. And then I was sent this um, Aveeno Baby Bubble Bath. Um, I know it's a full bottle. I'm not going to be using it for my daughter because I don't believe that they should be having any type of bubble bath stuff because it could cause them yeast infections and she's only 13 months and she does not need to be dealing with that so i will be using this um i think it has a scent oh well it's fully brand new as you can tell um but i will be using this myself and i want to use at least half of this up i think um so yeah that is my goal for my new project so it's not a ton of items. Ooh, it's not a ton of items because um, most of them are vitamin based. Oh, there's one more item I'm adding in there. So I bought a uh, no name Metamucil and it was just because it was more expensive to get the other one. Like the other one jumped up to like $40, which I think is crazy. Um, so I bought the no name one. And it is, it's, it's garbage. It is completely garbage. It's so grainy. It doesn't mix. Um, however, I bought it and I want to finish it up. So I am adding that to my project. Um, I won't get it done fully, but I would be able to get at least a good half of it finished, I think. Um, so that's kind of what I've been treating these, project, these projects as, is if I don't like something, but I don't want to waste my money, I'm going to add it to the project, so then I have to use it up. Um, and then it's kind of like a little bit of a challenge of, okay, making, you know, making sure I'm using it to make my money's worth. So, <clears throat> um, like I said, this is all for my new project. Um, my first project was super successful, as I said. I... Oh god, I probably had over 
definitely over 100 items total, which I used up maybe 98% of them. So I'm very, very impressed with myself. Um, now I'm on to like the good stuff of my um, collection. Like all my skincare is skincare that I like. All my hair care now is hair care that I like. Um, so I'm kind of glad that, you know, I did this and I saw it through and, you know, I just used everything up. Um, one thing that I should also add is um, I ordered some stuff end of i think it was maybe end of november for a fundraiser that my husband's cousin's daughter was hosting um so i just got that stuff maybe a month ago so again this was still within my year when i was buying stuff so i'm just going to show them off now um they're not items that i'm in a rush to use up so i'm not going to be putting them in a project because I like this stuff and I want to take my time using it, but um, the stuff that I got was, it's from the Bomb Bar, and I got this um, this bomb bucket, and it's a bunch of bath bombs, all different types. I've used one so far out of here, and I think there's two, say two, four, six, I think there's eight in here. Yeah, there's eight. Um, and then I also got this uh, muscle salt called the Terminator. It's eucalyptus. I used this one um, and it was actually, it was really nice. It was, yeah, it was really, really nice. Um, I got the muscle salt in relax in lavender. I got the milk salt in cranella, which is cranberry and vanilla. And then the last one is the milk salt and oak milk and honey. Um, so these ones, like I said, I'm not gonna add them to my project use it up because I have no reason to need to use them up really quickly. Um, yeah, those are the new items that I have um, that are gonna be added to my new inventory. And at least now I have room for this stuff, which is also really nice. Um, so I'm excited about that because, like I said, the amount of crap that I got out of my drawers, my underneath my counter, all that stuff, it's been it's been nice having that extra room. Um, and then also with part of my project, use it up because um, actually no, that's a whole, that's a whole different video. Um, Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys are tempted to do a project, use it up. We're interested in doing one. I highly suggest it. Um, you know, you can get through things so quickly and it's nice challenging yourself and it's nice to be able to use up items that you have laying around and not just toss them out, you know, get your money's worth, use it up and just learn from next time not to buy it. You know, I've learned, um, I've learned so many things during this project and I think the biggest one is if you know you like something, buy it. Don't buy things that you think might replace the item because you want a cheaper alternative because that doesn't work. Um, I've learned that really easily. Like I, my hairspray that I bought, um, when I finished it, I went for the cheapest option. Like I'm talking like $2.99 and it is garbage it is completely garbage um so that's probably gonna be a revolving item in my projects because it's so crappy but i need to use it up because i bought it um yeah one thing I, I just i realized is like now i'm at the age where i know what i like so i don't know why i keep trying random things here and there um and then with all these samples, besides Kiehl's, I really do like their samples. But at the same time, though, I get hooked on stuff and then I want to buy it. And then I see the price tag and I'm like, eh, I don't think so. Um, just, yeah, one thing I've realized is if I like something, stick with it. There's no need to stray from it. There's no need to try out cheap items or, you know, anything like that. And then also, you know, hoarding all these products that just kind of sit there don't get used up like that's that's not healthy for yourself either um you know i find a lot of the times having all this clutter really really weighs down on you and that's what i was starting to feel is i just have so much stuff and i just kind of want to be done with it all so 
you know now my my projects are gonna be only month-long projects for the month and you know what i'm gonna be doing is focusing on one shower gel one cream and one body spray at a time um i might put have two in going but there's a couple of scents that i already know i'm not really keen on and i just kind of want to get rid of them um and that blackberry and basil one is definitely one of them um so like i said they're gonna be months long um and hopefully you know i can make another big dead ten get rid of some of these items Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, my next video is going to be on my overall um, month update for all my projects. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.